So it's uh, 9-11, September the 11th, and I've never done a commemoration my entire life for September 11th. Um, it was an event, uh, an event that really affected me. In fact, it's quite possible that my entire interest in poetry uh, stems from uh, 9-11 and basically how it changed the world. And so here's that poem. It's by... Nancy Mercado, who is a New Yorker, I'm not a New Yorker, going to work. On their daily trips, commuters shed tears now, use American flags like veiled women to hide their sorrows, rush to buy throwaway cameras to capture your twin ghosts. Frantically, I too purchase your memory on postcards and coffee mugs in New York City souvenir shops. Afraid, I'll forget your facade, forget my hollowed Sunday morning path train rides, my subway travels through the center of your belly. Day after day, afraid, I'll forget your powers, to transform helicopters into ladybugs gliding in the air, to turn New York City into a breathing map, to display the curvature of our world. Um, it's a pretty nice little poem. 9-11 really, really affected me. I've been to New York a number of times, and I love New York City. Um, of course, I want to go back again. And I will. It's one of those things, though, when you're living 2,000 miles away from New York City, and you're shopping in a Walmart with your little children, and the Walmart is blasting, the building's blowing apart, the airplanes flowing through, flying through them. My children were shocked. I was shocked. Everybody at that Walmart was shocked. Then when we went home, we uh, listened to it on the radio. The radio station was normally a comedy station, but on 9-11, they didn't play any music. There were no jokes. It's pretty much live coverage of what happened. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Have a very nice day. Bye.